What's up everybody, NFX here with another tutorial. I'm going to try to make this really quick because it's not very complicated. Um, I made a tutorial in the past uh, on creating a funk wah guitar. I showed it in two parts. And the first part was basically the programming or sequencing of it and the second part was the effects. And uh, since I've done that, uh, I've come up with a, what I what it to me is a great wah effect using only the FL Studio generators or effects. So uh, I wanted to share that with you really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and and go through that and uh, you know demonstrate it. First thing I want to show you is I've loaded a few different guitar sounds in here just so we can hear the difference. Um, the one the one I use the most is the is the one in the middle here. That's what it sounds like, just clean with no effects on it at all. Uh, but I, I loaded a couple others. And these are, uh, I think at least one of these is a freeware. But I just wanted to demonstrate that, you know, you can apply this particular effect to, you know, any good guitar sound that you have. It doesn't have to be... Um, the one I use most most of the time um, so hopefully you'll see that in the demo here okay now in order to get the uh, the wah effect we have to uh, put some things in the uh, effect chain here and and for the sake of uh, demonstration I've only done it in the master channel um, so, so you're gonna have to go ahead and do it wherever it makes sense for you um, but what I've done is I've basically taken uh, and you can see the the chain list here I've taken some uh, fruity effects. Uh, the first one in the chain is the blood overdrive and the sound will will this will just boost the sound and give it a slight slight distortion to it. So here's the sound clean and then if we add the uh, the overdrive and you can hear it's boosted. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that the settings up so you can look at that if you need to pause it and and make note of the the numbers there go right ahead um, next in the chain is the fruity flanges uh, I think that's how it's pronounced it's basically a, a flanger uh, sound uh, and then again I'll put that on the screen so you can see where the sliders are and if we activate that and take a listen gives it a real nice tone I, I love that tone um, and as a matter of fact, just with these two in the chain, I could use that guitar for a lot of things in my own um, creations. Um, but we're going to continue, and I added a delay. Just a slight, slight echo to it. And then um, if we look at that, I'll go ahead and bring that up on the screen. Again, you can pause and look at the values if you need to. Uh, and then there's a parametric EQ2. This is a new feature in FL Studio 7. It's a great, great um, improvement and addition. And, uh, of course, it was free because like, you get lifetime updates in FL Studio. But if we take a look at that, let me make sure it's activated, and it is. Uh, you can see basically what I've done is I've cut off some... Uh, I've rolled off some high frequency and some low frequency and left the middle frequency. So uh, so there's that. Okay, so that's all great. Now I've got this nice tone to work with, right? But, um, but the magic is going to happen with the formula controller and the built-in parametric EQ for the channel that your, that your effects are on. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically uh, cut off the low frequencies. So look at if you look at the slider and the two knobs below, you'll you'll see how my uh, parameters are set up for that particular uh, section. And then we're going to boost the mids just like that. And again, if you look at the knobs below, you'll you'll see the the width and the uh, the frequency. The frequency is not going to matter so much because that's what we're going to automate. And then the 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 high uh, shelf is just basically there. It's left in the middle. But you could tweak these uh, once you have your song going and obviously find what works best for you. But if we listen to it now without the automation, 
Okay, now we've got that, that I don't know, it's almost like uh, AM quality because it's, you know, that middle frequency is boosted so much. But what we're going to do is we're going to automate this particular uh, controller, which is the, uh, the frequency. So what sounds like this will end up sounding, and I'm moving this manually right now, like this. Okay, so that's what that's what we're going to do with the formula controller. So I'm going to bring that up, and you can see the formula. Um, I don't recall if this is the default formula or not, but it's right there on the screen if you need to copy it. I'm pretty sure I changed some numbers in there. And also make note of the A, B, and C knobs and their position. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the knob down here on the... Uh, middle frequency and of course it's off the screen so let me move the screen down and uh, we're gonna go to link to controller hopefully that makes it uh, on the screen there and that brings up this window and then we're gonna go in the drop down and find the formula controller and just accept it let me move everything back up it's not really doing anything yet, and that's because we have to press play for the formula controller to actually start controlling this. Okay, so we've we've activated the formula controller, and um, you can see here that this bar here, or this, uh, I guess it's a bar, it's an input monitor, is right in the center, which is where this is. And as when I press play, it's going to actually start moving up and down. And you can see it's moving this knob for me up and down. Now the benefit to doing it with the formula controller is that it's tempo based. So now you can hear my wah is tempo based. That's at a tempo of 93. I can obviously uh, increase it and get a faster one um, or decrease it and get a slower one. With that said, that's basically all there is to it. Okay, and that, and then again, that's my uh, my favorite sound font, which is the Sonic Implants Fender Real Strat. Um, but here's another one, and here's another one. Now, I think this one, the last one, is actually a freeware. Um, there's various quality uh, sound fonts, or even other guitar sounds. You don't have to use a sound font. You can use. Uh, any, uh, a, sound, a guitar sound from anywhere. Another thing you can use uh, with wah effect, um, I'm trying not to go on, on too much of a tangent, but another thing you can use is like a, an electric piano sound, kind of like a road sound. Those tend to uh, have, have pretty good uh, sound. So let me load one of those up, just to give you an idea. So that's that's like a Rhodes guitar uh, sound. If we turn off all these effects, um, just so you can hear the bass sound, the basic sound, you know, and then we turn everything back on, we get a nice nice wah effect with that as well. And a lot of times I use that in place of a guitar because when you hit the chord, it it almost sounds just like a guitar anyway. But um, but anyway, that's the effect. Um, hopefully you can get some use out of it and uh, do your thing. So this is NFX signing out and saying I will see you guys in the next tutorial.